Hey guys, welcome back. It is uh, late August right now. We're getting closer to Labor Day, which is normally the last day that we want to be on our property before we start hunting. And now is the time of year where we're doing our final work or, or some of the last minute checks on the habitat throughout our property. And today we're checking on our water holes. And if you guys have water holes installed on your property, there are just a few things I kind of want to talk about as it relates to last minute water hole maintenance. Now we're fortunate enough that we live on our property so we can check on our water holes a little bit more often than some of the guys that have to drive, you know, two or three hours to their property. So we do have an advantage on this first point here. But one of the main things you wanna make sure you're checking for is dead animals in your water hole. Every once in a while you'll have a squirrel, a raccoon, a possum, really anything can be getting a drink in your water hole. They sometimes fall in, they can't figure out a way to get out, and unfortunately, sometimes they do drown. And it doesn't take long for that water to turn really rancid really fast. And if that happens, there isn't anything in the woods that's gonna to wanna to come take a drink out of that water hole. So what you're gonna to have to do in that case is remove the animal from the water hole, drain out the entire water hole, and then fill the entire thing back up. So it's a little bit more of a pain when that does happen, but it's something that's very crucial that you're checking out before the season. Because if you have a dead animal in there and it's been sitting in there for two months, you're not gonna have any deer coming into that water hole to take a drink during the season. Now one thing that anyone that uses water holes can tell you, you should be using some sort of a log or a stick and placing it in your water holes so that way if something does fall in, they can find that stick and crawl out. Now just because you have a stick, that doesn't always mean they're gonna find it, but I would say it greatly reduces the chances that you're gonna have an animal fall in and drown. Now another thing that you wanna watch out for with your water holes is the water level. Now this water hole right here is a 110 gallon stock tank and for the most part, it stays filled up by the rainwater. But this year in Southwest Michigan, I'm sure we're, along with wherever you guys are at too, we haven't really had a whole lot of rain since about mid-June. And again, it's late August right now, so we've gone over two months without significant rain. And that significantly reduced the amount of water in this water hole, along with the natural water sources surrounding the property. So because everything is dry right now, this water hole is getting a ton of use. We have a camera over my left shoulder, and when we review the pictures and videos, the deer are here almost every single day, getting a drink in the morning and getting a drink in the afternoon. So with the combination of no rain and constant use, this wa the water level was very low, and so we needed to fill it up. So I was lucky enough to have my son help me out. We filled up a couple five gallon buckets, drove them back here and topped off our water hole. And the nice thing about water holes is most of the time you don't really have to do anything. This is actually the first time that we had to top this thing off since we installed it when we bought the property a year and a half ago. So they don't really require a whole lot of maintenance and the amount of use that it gets is unreal. And if you do notice that your water hole is drying out a little faster, there, there are a couple things that you can do. One is just buy a bigger tank. If you have like a 50 gallon tank or a 70 gallon tank, and if you're noticing that's not enough to stay full, uh, I would recommend upgrading to 100 gallon, 110, 150 gallon tank. Those will definitely last a lot longer. Another thing to do is when you're installing your water hole is to make sure that you're putting in below grade. That way it's gravity fed. When it rains, that rain will find its way into your water hole. And to complement that, you can also dig it into the side of a hill so all the runoff from that hill flows right into your water hole. So there are a couple things that you can do to kind of reduce the times that you'll have to come back here and top this off. Like I said, this is the first time we've had to fill this up since we put it in. Even though we haven't had rain in two months, this thing was 75% full and it was still getting use every single day. And one last thing I will say about water holes is that if you don't have one, I highly recommend installing one. We installed this water hole as soon as we got the property and it, we have just got so much use out of it, it's unbelievable. We have a stand over my right shoulder, we've got a mock scrape and a camera over my left shoulder. Uh, during the hunting season, this is such a fun spot to sit. The amount of wildlife that gets drawn to this location would not be here if it was not for that water hole. I highly recommend putting one in if you don't have one already. So guys, that's basically it on water hole maintenance. Uh, we'll, we'll do more videos in the future on, on water holes, kind of how to install them, where to install them on your property. But if you guys do have any questions or if you guys are doing anything differently to kind of keep your water holes maintained, I'd love to hear about it. Please drop your questions and comments in the comment section below. I'll get back to those as soon as I can, but we will see you guys in the next video.